this recording? Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, bud. Can you turn it down just a notch? All right, so welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. It's not blue. Okay, so let's do. I do Pisces, Taurus. Let's do Cappy. Let's do my caps. So you guys are up to. I feel like I'm so distant from you guys right now. That's weird. That's weird. <clears throat> Look at that. Sticky, sticky. All right. Let's find out what's going on my little cappies. Capricorn, where I love first two weeks. Capricorn. Got love on the brain. You know what's so funny? Because that song, I think it's Viana, Love on the Brain. That song literally just came to me why this came out. Must go love on the brain. Whatever. I can't, I'm not singing it right, but I, I know what song it's referencing. Goose, no. So you got love, sweet love, and then you got the nine of, ah, uh, no. You have the nine of earth, okay. Um, tool of fire. So we have confidence. We have direction. We have love. We have wanting to invest time in a new direction. Holy crap, that six of fire is coming out for everyone. All right, it's, it's just that time. All right, with the king of earth. So you guys are right in your element, right in tuned. All right, you got the tower at the bottom of the deck. So, really loose. <clears throat> so, you got love in the nine of earth, okay? So this is, this is being confident in your new direction, okay? Because that tool of fire, you're looking right at each other. So you're about to invest time into something. You're about, to, well, yeah, you're about to invest time contemplating, okay, what direction. And basically, your confidence is, is pushing, your confidence is pushing you forward. And you're right in your own element. So it's, it's, it's beautiful, okay? Um... So to me, with the tower being on the bottom of the deck is, is basically telling me that this is more of an awakening than anything, anything else right now. Um, let's clarify love, even though it's your six. It's your soulmate. <clears throat> Tell me about love. Well, that flew out. King of Fire and the Moon. All right, so... You know, you could be dealing with an, a Piscean, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Cappy, like yourself, okay? Um, but this is just having, you know, your heart chakras open, willing to go towards the unknown, willing to let the moon follow you, the, the stars follow you, Pisces area too, Pisces area, Pisces, um, Pisces energy, so... It's to me as saying cancer right now too. So it's like bottom of the deck, six of earth. Um, it's like letting the moon and the stars, it's letting the galaxy lead the way. It's you know, it's it's going in a new direction. You're literally letting the divine lead the way right now, which I think is is gorgeous. Um, Someone's definitely single because that nine of earth is screaming single. If somebody's questioning. If someone's single. If you're questioning whether someone's single. And this is so divine and you know the connection. And this is you and you're a cappy and you're letting the divine lead. Then that message is for you. Um, so tell me about the nine of earth. So basically... You know, so you had the five of the cups reversed. So this is no longer crying over spilt milk. Getting out of that energy, getting that momentum back, getting the confidence back, the, the feistiness that's required 
to move forward. No longer crying over spilt milk. No longer being petty. Okay. Knowing what options you want. Knowing what you want to invest your time in. It can be a little intimidating though. Tell me about Tool of Fire. So this is you going towards some type of investment person, job, new relationship, new work, situationship, new location. Um, Ace of Swords. Okay. So did I say the Tool of Fire or the Seven of Earth? Was I clarifying? I think it was just the direction you were going in. All right. It's just you getting clarity to, to move forward. All right. To, to keep going. Um, crown yourself at the end of the road type thing. Job well done. Somebody is getting something here. Um, tell me about the seven of earth. So to me, it's someone's giving clarity or getting clarity to go in this, this new direction, hangman reverse. So it's not, you weren't seeing the light. It is coming out of the, the stalemate is coming out of that. Tell me about Six of Fire. So to me, you're going to be successful moving forward with, I guess, whatever you choose to invest in. Okay. So that's success. That's starting new. That's a new adventure. Some of you are moving because the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the King of Earth. So I, I think my Cappies just have clarity. Especially when it comes to their spirituality, their religion, their being in the social eye. I don't know what that's all about. Sometimes the Hierophant likes to be in the public eye, but like... I feel somebody practicing here, whether it's practicing spirituality, practicing in front of a camera, practicing in front of a mirror, which would be you guys. Because again, that's you know Taurus energy, but Earth energy. Someone's practicing, which again, you guys, whoever's in that Cappy energy, you're also in the Aries energy right now too. Um, Pisces came up too. I don't know if you're in the mirror. You're making videos. You're on set. You're doing something here. You got clarity. You're about to move forward. In the first two weeks of March, you're starting a journey. Absolutely beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah, delivering a message and going right to the moon. I think some of you feel like with the Four of Cups here too, you feel like you might have missed an opportunity, but you, you didn't. Especially when it comes to your past. I don't know if an opportunity was already given. Vice versa. This was also, I can hear it, this is also somebody that was saying goodbye to somebody. Somebody said goodbye to somebody a long time. A long time ago. And something's coming back around. It's, I don't feel a karma here. This is more love. This is more this is commitment to the, the, the king of pence is committed. Hierophant's committed. You're committed to investing on this new path. But there's there's love here. There's a soulmate here. This is love. Because you're, you're about to pull your hat out. You're about to give your hat away. You're about to open your chakra again. Okay? So it's like... There's a story here. I mean, we all have a story. But... I'm not really sure what it's trying to tell me. I'm just happy the petty's gone. And you're moving forward. If you got Cappy Moon, this is a strong symbol for you. And I'm Cappy Moon, but I'm still not understanding the story. All I know is that this is good. You got quite the future when it comes to spirituality, religion, being in the public eye. It's going to be very successful with the Six of Fire here. It's like a brand new adventure for some of you. Some of you, you've been doing it and you, it's only like a promotion, like a, from the divine, you're going further. 
some of you are just starting because this one's practicing. So I can see someone either in the mirror, behind the computer, rewind, fast forward, that type of energy. But this is confessing love. This is your hot chakra opening, no longer hanging around considering do I want to invest, do I not want to invest. You're definitely investing because you got the ace of swords. You're definitely getting out of that stalemate and you're going. Um, which is great. Let me pull you a lesson. Freedom. Freedom. Alright, um, Cappies, my Cappies. First two weeks, please, Cappies. Success. There's a lot of success here, especially right here. Gonna be very successful. But I also know that there's no greater goal than love. Okay, so for right now for my Cappies, it's it's all about love. And being successful at it. Creating it, going after it, acknowledging it, accepting it, feeling it, absorbing it, wearing your hat on a sleeve, owning up to it, push through, persevere. You can do what you set your mind to. Somebody definitely set their mind to, to something here, okay? Um, fantastic. First two weeks of energy, ladies and gents. Let me just get an overall message for you guys. Advice, message. Cappy's first two weeks. Um, some of you are de definitely dealing with the Leo because that lion's pretty prominent. Taurus, Leo, Pisces. Cappy. Virgo. Soul searching. Somebody found themselves. This is self discovery. Which was probably why you were hung up. But you're looking right at the Queen of Earth. So right now, King and Queen of Earth, you got, you got like a, some of you are getting a marriage proposal because I just heard it. But sorry, for everyone a surprise. Um, I try not to have that stuff come out. But like, someone soul searched. You know, they're, they're now they're trying to figure out how to make a sensible approach. You know, they're dealing with their challenges, their understanding. They're going to move forward, or you guys are going to move forward with a very understanding meaning, okay? Um, and that's that clarity you're about to get. So, and I got a cons and I got the cancer card under there, too. So, it's like, I don't know if you're going. It's just that home life, too, because some of you, I saw that move. All right? So, a beautiful, beautiful read, guys. Um... It's just whatever I was seeing here. I don't know if someone's practicing in this to be in the spotlight. Perfection. This would be a perfectionist. Don't try too hard to perfect something. It, it takes time. I've been doing this for, I've been in the public eye for a good year, and I haven't even per perfected that yet. Am I comfortable? And I love what I do, and it's natural to me? Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think you can perfect it like that unless you're a legit, an actor. And even then you still gotta, this is somebody playing a character. So this is where, like, I can't figure out the story. I guess my best advice, if you're going to be in the public eye, just, you know, natural, be natural. Don't, you don't, I don't know if somebody's all dressing up, like, XYZ, perfection. I don't know if someone's critiquing themselves too much. It, it's something. Go with the flow. Ride this one. Let ride this one out. Like ride the cloud. Let the divine lead this one. Don't don't like I'm talking like I gotta have the perfect haircut. My nails gotta be trimmed perfectly. The way I'm tying my shoes. Do I wanna wear these shoes? Those shoes? So I want to dress like this, like, whatever is natural for you, I guess, if, if you need to dress up, and I'm not saying, like, play pretend dress up, like, but if it, that's what gives you more confidence, so be it, but not, not necessary for some of you. Quite the character here. I think somebody else played a different character. I don't know if you're dealing with an actor or an actress here, guys, because I, I'm feeling like, 
a different character. Somebody feels like where'd that character go? Like that character was fun. I don't know what that's all about. But it's time to play a new character. No more Peter. If that's what it's referencing. It's time to be serious. It's time to move forward. It's time to persevere. It's time to be successful. This could be a very successful relationship. And a very successful endeavor. New adventure with work. With spirituality. It's very spiritual too. Especially with the hangman being here too. Okay. It's overall guys. It's beautiful beautiful read. And the hermit popped in. Okay. So. Looks like you're going to have a fabulous first couple weeks. Because you're going. You already started the adventure. You know. You know where you're going to invest your time. And where it's going to lead you. Chances are it is, is in the public eye. Or you know. Not even necessarily the public eye guys. It could just be simple, simply like. You know. You run the crew. Or the head of honcho at work. Or the class clown. It, you know what I mean. It's just it's that type of energy too it doesn't necessarily have to be per se in the public eye you know for some for sure for sure all right i love you guys have a great day bye